Okay, in this presentation, we're going to look at the Poisson distribution, okay? So on average, eight calls per hour are received in a telephone board. That's a bit of an antiquated notion, but let's go with it anyway. It's a sort of more of a historic thing, so it sort of appears in old textbooks. So anyway, eight calls per hour, okay, is our expected number of calls per hour. Now, assuming that the number of calls received in the, in the board is in a given time length, now that's sort of where this hazard is, is a Poisson process, find the probability that six calls are received in two hours and at least two calls are received in the next 20 minutes. Okay, so essentially what we're doing here is we're changing the time period. Okay, so our default setting is per hour, but we're going to work on the basis of two hours in the first question and then 20 minutes in the second question. Okay. So this is the probability mass function of the Poisson distribution. Now, I, I usually would write it in such a way where I denominate things in terms of the expected value mu. But here, what I'm going to do is denominate things in terms of the rate parameter uh, times t, okay, lambda times t. This is the standard formula, okay, Probability of x, now I'm going to denominate things in terms of t here, x of t, but usually I might just say x is equal to n. The probability of that is as follows, e to the minus lambda t, so the exponential of minus lambda times t, times lambda t to the power of n all over n factorial. Now, so the n factorial is a little bit, didn't come out so good, so I just put that little exclamation mark there. So the probability of six calls in the next two hours, well, n is equal to six in this case, very clearly. Now, but lambda, t is equal to two, and that means that lambda is, or uh, lambda times t is equal to 16, okay? Lambda is the rate per hour, okay, eight per hour. Uh, t is the number of hours, so we should expect 16 in two hours, which makes sense. Now, that's really the trick of the question. So it's lambda times t here, but it's sort of, if you expect 8 in two, uh, 1 hour, you should expect 16 in 2 hours. So that makes sense. Okay. Now, so essentially what we're going to do is put in all our values here. So probability of x is equal to 6 is equal to e to the 16 times 16 to the power of 6 all over 6 factorial, sorry, uh, sorry, this, the factorial comes down here. So the, again, it just didn't come out too good. 6 factorial, okay? Now, that is a bit of number crunching there, okay? But it should work out to be... It should be manageable. 16 to the power of 6 is quite a substantial number. Uh, but, you know, it's the type... Of, probably should be able to work that out in a calculator. Now, there they wouldn't be so hectic in uh, most examples. The key thing here really is actually just specifying this correctly. I think, think really once you got that done right, you're, you're good to go, okay? So the second question here is at least two calls in the next 20 minutes. Okay, so our time period he, here is 20 minutes. Now that's actually one third of an hour, okay? So we're dealing with hours, okay? So lambda times t is eight times one third, lambda times one over three, eight over three, now we do the same thing again, okay? And just again, my exclamation marks didn't come out. So the probability of x greater than, than or greater than or equal to two is the complement of one, it's the complement of probability of x less than or equal to one, okay? Now the, that, the reason we do it that way is because it's very straightforward to evaluate that. Unless you're working with tables, of course. That is composed of the probability of x equal to 0 plus the probability of x equal to 1. Okay? So we just use our formula the same way as we did before. Okay? So here, lambda t er, is 8 over 3. So e to the minus lambda t is e to the minus 8 over 3 times lambda t to the power of 0. In this case, uh, n is equal to 0 in the first instance, and in the second instance, n is equal to 1. Uh, 8 to the power of 3, 8 over 3 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Okay. Uh, 0 factorial is also equal to 1. So we end up really there with e to the minus 8 over 3. For the second case, probability of x equal to 1, e to the minus 8 over 3 times 
8 over 3 to the power of 1 over 1 factorial. So 1 factorial is equal to 1. 8 over 3 to the power of 1 is 8 over 3. So essentially we can just simplify this as follows. 1 minus e to the minus 8 over 3 uh, times 1 plus 8 over 3. Essentially it's just a sort of... A, a take the e to the minus 8 out of 3 out of it and just try and simplify it as much as possible. But essentially it's a little bit of calculator work, a little bit of uh, mathematical rearrangement, a bit of calculator work, and you should end up with a value of 0 0.7452. Okay, that's it. So the key thing there really is just re-expressing, uh, just working with lambda t, just being able to spot t, what 20 minutes is in terms of t, which is one third, or in the case of two hours, which is t equals two, and just adjust the things accordingly. Okay. By the way, you can expect in 20 minutes, you can expect on average eight over three calls. You won't get over eight, three, eight over three calls in, uh, in, um, in, in, in reality, but on average, you can expect that number. Okay. An, we can, yeah, an, an expectation, an expected value doesn't have to be an integer. Okay. The possible outcomes have to be integers. 8, 6, 7, 8, 9, but on average, you know, you could get 8.5 on average in some, in some circ uh, circumstances. Okay, we'll leave it there. I'm waffling now.